Ayala, Raja Nangolan, Raja Nangolan. Forza Inter! What's up guys, welcome back to Inter Talks, brought to you by SemperInter.com and Inter Destroying Club since 1908. The Inter Talk show for Inter fans around the world. And we're back again with a positive, happy review, smashing in the Champions League, five wins in a row in all competitions. Let's go! Uh, it feels great to be back in the Champions League and the way the team is performing at the moment, it feels like we never left. This is where we deserve to be. I think this was our best performance from this season up until now. We were intelligent, uh, we uh, suffered when we needed to, we kept possession for most of the match. We went away in the Champions League in Eindhoven against a team that hasn't lost in a very, very long time. Okay, you might say they play in the Dutch league, but still it's a very respectable team with some very dangerous players as they proved last night. Just super proud of the boys, great performance. Uh, let's get straight into the ratings given out by SemperInter.com and uh, have a little uh, discussion on these. First of all, in goal, Handanovic was given a 6.5. Um, personally, I would have given him a 7 as I felt the save he made uh, from the overhead kick in the second half was just world class. Uh, the reaction, you know, that was uh, vintage Batmanovic, um, cat-like reactions there. Um, not only did he save it, he uh, parried it out to the side. So great technique in the save as well. Um, in the first half, he had that deflected shot uh, that deflected off Skriniar. Uh, he made a double save in that case as well. Um, so a brilliant performance by Handanovic. Yes, he was lucky to be still be on the pitch. He might have been... Uh, sent off on another day for his uh, um, one of his uh, rare forays out of the box where he ran out uh, to try to tackle the player and the ball hit his hand. Uh, it could have been uh, counted as a goal scoring opportunity but got lucky there, you need that kind of luck. Uh, right back D'Ambrosio uh, with a six, uh, I agree. Uh, he was pretty poor in the first half, especially going forward. He lost possession many times, uh, he didn't really offer uh, himself uh, well to Politano and he was uh, struggling with some of the pace from the tricky wingers uh, from PSV such as Bergwijn and uh, Lozano sw swapping wings and causing some problems in behind uh, but he grew in the second half a solid performance from him as always um, um, also had a great uh, cross for Icardi in the first half which uh, Icardi would normally put away but um, wasn't to be uh, so six I agree Stefan De Vrij with the seven, yet again, uh, this guy still hasn't put a foot wrong. Hard to believe that we signed such a quality, experienced, but still um, young centre-back really for his age. Um, on a free transfer, great, great acquisition. Another match with uh, very little mistakes. Um, you know, he, he lost, uh, he said in the previous, uh, in the press conference before the match, he lost in that stadium once 10-0. Uh, but yeah, he's definitely got his uh, his revenge on PSV. His partner next to him, Milan Skriniar, with a seven as well. Um, I felt like he wasn't as uh, secure and confident as he usually is. Had a couple of shaky moments um, compared to De Vrij, that is. Uh, but yeah, a seven for another solid performance from him, showing uh, what a player he is. Next to him, a left back, 6.5 again for Azamoa. I think that's just... Uh, I'm going to start calling him 6.5 Moa or 6.5 Aza because that's just the rating he seems to always get. Always, uh, you know, positive, always confident on the ball, always does the right thing. Bags of experience and personality. Um, once again, great, great performance from him. Let's uh, move on to our midfielders. Uh, Matias Vecino, as you know, I've been a, a little bit critical of him, uh, although I do appreciate his running in the team. But today I feel that's, that was probably his best performance in the team this season, uh, individually speaking. Um, so I feel like the five given, uh, five rating given was a little bit harsh. Um, he was very combative in the midfield today. You know, he, uh, he was uh, up and down the whole match. Yes, as always, he's a little bit sloppy in possession, uh, but he had the assist for Icardi's goal, which of course wasn't, you know, uh, a perfect assist to Icardi. He still had loads of work to do there and there was uh, some defensive mistakes. Um, 
but apart from that, he he got stuck in the whole match, and he was a great uh, partner next to Brozovic this time. Brozovic got a six. I agree, it wasn't one of his best performances. Uh, made a few mistakes on the ball, but as always, he he is the fulcrum of the midfield. He's always asking for the ball. He always is an option, and he tries to make things happen. So uh, without him, we would be effed. Rajan Angolan, as you may see from my uh, intro uh, he was my man of the match uh, he is growing into that role finally his uh, his physical uh, condition is starting to catch up with him uh, he's starting to uh, show why we paid all that money for him why uh, all inter fans were excited to have him in the team you know as uh, in italian they would say uh, performance called le palle cojones with the balls personality fight you know he never he made sure that we were never outnumbered in midfield uh, against the uh, PSV's three midfielders came in deeper when we needed to and then uh, um, was close to Icardi and the wingers when we were attacking and he has that rocket of a right foot that he can unleash um, and then he scored a great goal uh, to equalize looking forward to see what Raja can do when he's at 100%, he's still not at 100% physically speaking. He still gets tired around the 65, 70 minute mark. He starts to uh, starts to huff and puff a little bit like uh, McGregor. Um, moving on to our wingers, Matteo Politano with a 6.5. I agree, one of the uh, best players on the night. Uh, great energy, up and down, uh, supporting D'Ambrosio when defending and then supporting Icardi and Raja when attacking. Great final ball this time around. You know, this guy is improving with his confidence every match. Um, great acquisition from Sassuolo. Um, a lot of people maybe questioned whether he is ready for a big team. And he's showing that, yes, he is ready for a big team. And uh, keeping Kandreva out of the team as well. On the left, uh, even Perisic uh, still continuing with some subdued performances. Still feels like he's... Uh, has a hangover from the World Cup, doesn't seem 100%. Uh, gave away the ball a lot. Um, didn't really show that experience that he should be uh, displaying, especially in the second half. Uh, gave away some uh, some juicy balls for 2PSV. Um, so I really hope he improves. Uh, otherwise, uh, Keita Balde is right there, ready to take his place. Up front, Mauro Icardi, 7.5. Uh, was given the man of the match. It's uh, hard to argue my man of the match was Raja, but Icardi was right up there, led by example today, fought for every ball, uh, uh, great captain's performance. Substitutes, uh, once again, Borja Valero comes on with only a few minutes to go, uh, but shows his experience and calmness on the ball. Uh, shout out to him for always coming on and bringing that calmness onto the, the, onto the pitch with his wise beard. Kandreva with only a few minutes, uh, great energy, um, ran the ball out to the corner, uh, tried uh, tried a few things and uh, Spalletti got the match tactically right. He had his uh, team playing uh, probably in the best uh, way that I've seen this season. Uh, so shout out to him in terms of uh, match statistics. Um, you know, we dominated his possession with 59% possession. Uh, so away to uh, PSV, which is great. Um, we had 24 shots in total, which is the most we've had this season. So enough uh, gassing about our win in the Champions League. Let's move on to the Serie A. Our next match is against Spal on Sunday, a half seven UK time. Um, tricky away fixture, shouldn't be underestimated. Spal started the season really well with the three wins from the first four matches. Uh, they look like uh, they could be uh, sort of the surprise team of the tournament this year. Um, but they sort of dipped off uh, to their normal levels. Um, so they are on 13th. They're in 13th place in the league uh, with nine points. Uh, they have some uh, some uh, some dangerous players that we definitely uh, should be should be on the lookout for, such as their captain Antenucci and uh, their uh, sort of winger fullback uh, Lazzari, who recently was in the uh, Italy squad, who uh, is a great outlet on the wing for them. I'm expecting a host of changes again uh, to sort of uh, give uh, the players that played in the Champions League a little bit of uh, rest and uh, give the other players uh, a run out like uh, we had last week with maybe Gagliardini coming in again for Vicino. 
although Gagliardini was not, um, you know, very impressive in the last match. Uh, Miranda should again come back with his experience in the place of uh, De Vrij or maybe Skriniar again. Hopefully, Vrishalko gets some minutes as he is uh, back turning with the team uh, again. Uh, we need to be, uh, we need to have Vrishalko back in the team as soon as possible. Um, he needs to be challenging for that um, right back spot because D'Ambrosio is doing an okay job. Uh, but I think uh, Rochalco will be an upgrade attacking wise on uh, D'Ambrosio. Up front, Lautaro may be given a chance uh, once again by Spalletti after his great performance uh, in the in last match where he took over from Icardi in, in great fashion. Uh, but we still don't have a uh, predicted lineups released as of yet, so we'll we'll see. Well, hopefully, we can continue our winning ways. Spal is a match that we should win, and uh, it's a match that we need to win to have some great morale going into the derby. Let's not forget there's the derby coming soon uh, against AC Milan, and uh, me and Anthony have something special in plan for you guys. Um, so keep a lookout for that. But that's it for this week, guys. Um, very well that's it for this review and preview guys awesome performance from the boys super proud looking forward to the next matches hopefully another positive review coming in from anthony make sure to subscribe as always guys thanks for your support and as always forza inter ciao